boom, shaka boom, boom. What do we got? What do we got started off with here? Looks like a basketball goal. Not the best of basketball goals, but it's a basketball goal. Therefore, we shall take it because it's got some scraps. Yeah, these aren't the really good ones. See how it's got like this big plastic thing on the back, but we'll go ahead and grab it anyways. Just because. And then I can disassemble it at home. It's flat enough. And if worst case scenario, I can disassemble it in the truck. Oh, but already scavengers, let's fill up this truck, eh? Is it trash? Is it trash? No, that's not trash. I don't think so. It's gotta be, huh? Yeah, cause I mean, there's nobody out here mowing the lawn. Let's take a look at it real quick, see. Um, I have a front door. Let me go ask him real quick. Okay, so I went and knocked on his door and sure enough, yeah, he said, he said I could have it. All right. You always gotta be a little careful when these things are out there just by themselves, but. Yep. I mean, you can tell the wheels. It's, yeah, cool. It's got us a little pile over here. Let's give it an inspectigatory look here. Uh, take that. Surely will. That's cute and pretty. Protect from fires and such. All right. Hmm. What is that? I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's copper. We'll grab it and find out. Definitely will. All right. Oh, patio chair. You don't want to be sat on no more? You don't want to be sat on no more? That's all right. Oh, we'll find a spot for you here. It's crazy just a few things can make the truck look so full. Huh. Yeah, it's not magnetic. I think that's a, uh, that's that coated copper. Awesome. Back up on it. Look like a uh, yard tool or something back here. Investigate. It's got a plug. What is this? What is that? I don't know. There's not a whole lot of scrap on there, but we'll check it out. I don't know what that is. Oh, what is that? Oh, a toaster oven. Sweet. Uh, a Fabroware. A Fabroware. Couple piles here. This is like plant stuff. There's a bicycle on a shelf here. Grab it. That's a pretty decent trick, man. All right. Definitely, probably be able to sell that. I guess we need to, uh, I guess we gotta put the walls up, huh? Look at that. Fishing lures. Freshwater stuff. And some shelving. More shelving. All right, y'all. I think she's full. Let's go home. What kind of monstrosity we got going on over here? Look at all of that, y'all. We got three shot bags. Oh. Three shot bags. One, two, three pressure washers. Oh. Little pressure washers. 1700 PSI. That's not like all that great. They're probably good for the cleaning the uh, window seals of your house so you don't blast through there to that little fishing pole that's my kind of fishing rod right there boy right. 
Yeah, that's a really interesting looking lamp. <laughs> Seen better days. Like most of the crap we find. What is that? Coffee pot? Ooh. Save the coffee pot for somebody. These guys, for sure. <sighs> a lot of times I leave this shop back, but I actually have a use for these. Got a little kick chandelier on the curve. That's a dangly one, y'all. We shall stick it. Let's stick it right there. Getting some good stuff so far, y'all. Whew! There's a pressure washer. I wonder if he's tossing that out. Excuse me! Are you throwing that out? Okay, just making sure. Okay, okay. Well, it looks good. It looks good. Oh, oh yeah. Now I would never run off of something like that. You know, it's obviously like questionably it's not trash, but okay. All right, cool. All right, well, take care. Your your looks good. Yeah, something looked a little peculiar with the pressure washer. The only reason, like, it was kind of it wasn't hooked up to a water hose, and then he had just finished pressure washing, so that every, I mean, it was clean, but everything was dry, so it didn't look like it. And uh, but it was in really good shape, and, and you know, like, definitely ask, don't just grab that kind of stuff, man. I mean, it wasn't in a trash pile, it was by the curb, but anyways, let's go get it. Look like some stuff on this curb, some sort of bracketing or something. Grab it all, grab it all. take that it's got a metal cage in it that's good stuff all right funky pillows y'all hey look at that that's pretty clever looking I wonder if it works it's an air blower it's plastic but it's an air blower oh there's that whole box is full of scrap. What is that? Is that a... Um, is that a lift for the truck? <laughs> One of those come along lifts everyone keeps telling me to get. like pieces of one I don't see any kind of winch or hoist or anything or hydraulic cylinder that's funny though that's that's hilarious that's absolutely hilarious if that's what that is I don't know what that is portable oh it's a portable tire changer Oh, from Pittsburgh. That's Harbor Freight. Tire changer. A little something, something back here. Oh, another toaster oven. What is that? Oh, those are pennies. That's money. That looks like foreign currency, though. I wonder if those were like caught in a trap at a pool or something. Huh. Huh, very interesting. We'll set that up in here, like such. Somebody straight left cash on the curb. Huh, I think I see something hiding. I do, scrap. Ah, oh, basketball goal. Bracket. Leave the printer. Right. Something in the shadows. In the shadows. What is that? Oh, stupid TV with the cord cut off of it. That's what that is. There's a bench. 
Look at that cabinet. That's a pretty nice cabinet. That's that's a pretty. That's pretty. Uh, yeah. Oh. Let's uh. roll that right there for right now. I'm that man that named you Sue. A couple chairs on the curb. No grills or ceiling fans yet. It's patio stuff. All right. Probably, maybe, we'll see. Another chair, lots of chairs today. Lots and lots of chairs today. Lots of chairs. See a busted old fan on the curb? I'll stop for a busted old fan. I stopped for less. Look at the big pile of stuff. See stuff. More patio stuff. It is the definite day of patio stuff today. Ooh, there's glass. I hate glass, y'all. See if we can get it out. Careful not to break it. that right there really quick and I'm gonna just roughly throw this crap in and go get set up somewhere that's aluminum like how you can tell as it's like it is super light the better patio furniture is aluminum and that's what you want right there hey check it out scantron sheet that takes me back uh oh could it be could it be got some ceiling fans i was wondering if we were gonna find any no grills yet though you know what time it is time to break them off break them off sorry fans i'm so sorry i'm so sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Looks, uh, looks a little bit older here. Not that old though. Not that old. I'll tell you what, we'll put these cats. I'll slap them up under here. I got some lights. Cleaning out the garage. Got that. This guy, those are plastic. Let's see. I think those are plastic. Yeah, that's all plastic. Hey, check it out, bro, a chair. Another wood. What's that, like number seven? I lost count. I totally have lost count. No. We have found more patio furniture today than I think I have ever found. Nuts. I see some wheels back there behind that trash can. Yep, a couple aluminum rims. What's that? Oh, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, a couple aluminum rims and a steel rim. They give you breakage at the yard for it, but you gotta take the rubber tire off of it or you clean it up. Uh, and uh, it's extruded. What life? Oh, look at that. It's a cute little high chair. There's some shininess coming out of there, but not, not, not shiny enough. Ooh, there's a ceiling fan over here, y'all. <laughs> I think that's ceiling fan or is that part of his mailbox? No, that's ceiling fan. It's got rope on it. It's nautical. Look at those blades. Those blades are actually metal. 
I don't think we can break those off, y'all. Actually, you know what? They will break. They'll break at the, uh, yep, at the bracket, because the bracket is uh, ca uh, die cast aluminum. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Blocking his driveway. Yeah, these break off there at the bracket, so, yeah. Hey, those are scrap. That's scrap. Thank you. Why is it always me picking in front of the, the one person's house that they're coming home that minute? Uh, look at that. We finally got us a grill, y'all. Back up on it. Try to. Look at that fuzzy pillow. This one. We got here a perfect flame perfect flame okay make a little room here real quick okay stick these back here all right now i think maybe we'll do something happen here what about her Up. Not stainless. Are right, there's some screws right here? If we take this out, we get the uh, get the shelf off of here. That should come off. Yep. Yeah. Ah, then. Yeah. This grill's not all that great. Not all that great. All right, so we made it a little bit shorter. Should fit in nicely. Okay. All right. If my calculations are correct, it should slip it should slip in. Enough to get her closed. Perfect. Perfect. I see a lawnmower and a weed eater and a blower and everything else. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Anything special, spectacular? No, nope, it's the old dried out Ryobi. Oh, all right. Some of y'all might be noticing, Mike, what's up with the uh, stove top and the fencing? Well, truth of the matter is I pulled over to get organized and such, and the guy came out, he's like, hey, I got some stuff. Boom, got some stuff. Anyways, all right. That's a blower for your stick. We got here a yard machine, El Cheaperino. So I'm gonna put this. Probably put this. I think it'll fit like that, guys. I think so. All right, we're definitely moving in the upward direction. That's the right direction. There's a tote, you can't tell. I can't tell. Oh no, it's full of twigs. Oh, there goes satellite dish and such. You get turned around. Right. These got aluminum on them. Stick that in our aluminum department right here. And this, these, these back in here, there's cast, that's cast aluminum. 
Well, all righty, scavengers, we're gonna go ahead and call it right there. Uh, that concludes this curbside scavenging route. As y'all can see, we got a copious amount of stuff, tons of stuff. I know it didn't look like a, a whole lot of stuff, but we got a, a whole bunch packed up in there. I was kind of hoping we'd come across a dryer or another grill or something like that. But we got like two lawnmowers, like seven or eight chairs. I mean, a bike grill like lots of scraps lots of stuff we even got a bucket of money somebody left a bucket of money on the curb um, I was kind of looking at this it looks like some foreign stuff that looks like it's Chinese 2003 what's the best way to clean this stuff up just a little baking soda warm water and a brush that says 1980 what is that oh that's a half dollar Yep, that's a half dollar. That's JFK half dollar right there. There may be a few bucks in here. Yeah, we're going to clean these up and see what we got. Uh, how do they get like that? They sat at the bottom of a pool maybe? Is that chlorine all over them? I don't know. But yeah, we'll clean these up and see what we got. There's definitely some foreign coins and some, some uh, US currency in there as well. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, all in all, a uh, pretty successful route out there. I was kind of hoping we'd pick up maybe one more grill or a dryer or something like that. But it just happened that way. Uh, got a truck bicycle back there. It's an okay bike. Definitely not going to scrap that out. That's definitely worth uh, getting rid of. You know, someone who needs it, uh, selling it, uh, even just put it on the back wall at the scrapyard. Somebody will definitely pick that up. But already scavengers, thank y'all so much for tagging along. As always, it was a total pleasure. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, if you guys are interested, still selling t-shirts down below. Go check it out. Y'all stay tuned. Peace. What we got here, y'all? Go scrappy scrap.